The next game in the Dan Legacy. I'm gonna go alert, uh, I'm gonna go to alert JJ chat. Let's see if she wants any part of this. It's happening. Things are happening. Here we go, honey. We're gonna do versus mode. Dan versus Dan. I don't know the buttons either, if that makes you feel any better. Where the hell's Dan? If your player one, highlight Morgan. If your player two, highlight Felicia. Felicia. Press and hold the start button and press down 13 times and then yeah, press, okay. Yeah, like it was something like I kept pressing up or down or... Damn, these Dan codes, holy shit. Who figures this shit out? So if this works, I gotta do Morgan, you gotta do Felicia. Uh, hold start. How did you do it? What did you do? <laughs> you told me to do it. Yeah, I did. you did it right. How, but what did you? You went. Did they give it to you when you pressed down three times? No. Then I pressed another button. Oh shit! Did you did you keep start held down? Yes. Okay. Let's see you do it again. I I got I did I fucked mine up now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did it. All right. Damn fucking console codes. It only takes forever. Okay, uh, here we go, honey. You ready? Yes. You ready? Oh my god, there's no... Quick down? It's, 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 it's down. It's just down. It's just down, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just so torn. Okay. Oh shit, are you trying to kill me? No. Oh my god! <laughs> Wonder what I'm gonna get rid of. Red. Great. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to move. Honey, don't. No. Okay. I didn't get a red. <laughs> I didn't get a red. <sighs> All right, round two. Oh shit. <laughs> Honey, incoming. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Alright, one to one. <laughs> I'm going for max strat. That's cheating. No, it's not. I'm not cheating. Oh, 
Uh. Holy shit! What? <laughs> you got that diamond. So lucky to get that diamond. <laughs> it's so cheap. Uh, why is he so tiny? <laughs> what the hell? This is insanely chibi looking version. I can't let JJ pick Shenko chat. I can't let her pick Shenko because she'll whoop my ass. <laughs> what the fuck? Can't even control anything. Oh my. Oh my. Are you just stacking to the right? No! To the left? Absolutely not! Were you even doing anything? I, what do you mean was I even doing anything? Were you even- Chat! Back me up! <sighs> oh. I- I have fucked up. Oh, I did not fuck up! Oh. Honey, this game is- this is very hard. This is so difficult. <laughs> She's so pissed. This- uh, you taught me this strategy, honey. Wait, were you really just stacking to the left? No. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Not at all. Jessica's gonna take us through, uh, Dan's story mode. And, uh, it's gonna be magical. Remember the day I actually bought this for you? Over at Game Dude, and I was like, Puzzle Fighter for Saturn, it looks so pretty, and you're like, you should get it. <laughs> I think it's left, 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 down, down, down. Nice. Dan has so many secret codes. Holy shit, dude. Like, oh, I, so many games that Dan is in, you have to, like, do all this extra bullshit to get Dan unlocked. But he is an absolute joke character in this game, if you weren't already surprised. He only has red blocks. And nothing else. Damn, this Sakura theme. This Sakura theme, though. Yes, JJ is right off screen, uh, piloting Daniel right now. I don't know if it's the faster you take them out before they can take you out with Dan, or what the hell the strategy actually is. Since it's only red blocks, honey, like, what is your... What do you, what do you want to do? You have to build as fast as you can. So it's a build- it's like, it's like a Tetris thing, you just need to build faster. Well, not just that, like the combos. You really gotta do combos. I see how you set up combos. Okay. You sort of like cross-hatch them. Oh my god. Killer. She dead? Wow, that does kill. Okay. And it's actually better if you get gems in a... in like big chunks, right? Like instead of like a whole bunch of like a large line, if you have the gems like in... In like, yeah, like actual giant gems. Yeah, you have to build a giant. That that does more damage over than than just like a big line. little lines. Yeah, okay. So the big thing that you have to remember in this game chat is the patterns. When you uh, are going up against certain characters, the amount of garbage that they throw your way when they clear lines is uh, the same. It's actually set per character. Like we said, Dan is a goofy bitch because in this game, his is all red, so he's only gonna throw red garbage at you. Meaning that if you don't kill your opponent and they get a, a red break, you're, you're, you're immediately dead. Like, your attack is going to allow them to counterattack and kill you. So you don't want to, like, throw something big their way unless you absolutely know it's going to kill. And even if you're fighting the computer and the computer just randomly gets, like, a red break, all of a sudden, oh, jeez. Threw a bunch of red shit their way and then you're dead. Yeah. It's a, in, a, in a couple of turns, Morgan's gonna have a big-ass attack. And that's why it's not good to do little... To do little ones, because it builds up. You have to, like, almost wait. Or you have to keep building really fast to get her. 
Okay, so she gets a red break. You're you're in deep shit. I know. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hard. <laughs> Even against the computer, it's gonna be so weird. I can't break. Yeah. Early. I can't break early. This is what makes Dan versus Dan matches actually kind of fun. What strategy is there? Like, what do we actually do? <laughs> Is it about attacking first, waiting for the counterattack? That's mostly it, is like, hoping to god you have a red break to counterattack right as they do. That might actually kill. Close, yeah, she's dead. Good shit. Good shit. It's like, it's like you don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna end her or not, and then suddenly, whoosh. I taught you well, you know nothing, dummy. <laughs> Ken is such a dickhead. He's literally Steven Seagal. That <laughs> tiny Dan, yeah, he's very funny looking. I could be an emote. Ready? It's funny, they gave Ken his alpha... It's like an alpha one stage. Very goofy. The game just refuses to give you what you want. I think there was a bit of time in between Puzzle Fighter and... Uh, Pocket Fighter? So they were like, oh, Puzzle Fighter's like, like, doing well enough. That means that people would maybe like an actual fighting game with these characters. I think it was a genuinely good idea, because I like the game that came as a result. But man, who does that game appeal towards? There was like no hardcore fans for, for Pocket Fighter, really, at all in no. the arcades. But for Puzzle Fighter, everyone liked Puzzle Fighter. Even, oh, everyone liked Puzzle Fighter. even Capcom fans, like, playing Marvel and stuff knew about Puzzle Fighter. Yeah, yeah it's That's like... Max caught me one time just playing Puzzle Fighter with... Was that CEO, or was it- Oh, it was at CEO. Yeah, so we went to CEO 2014, and Jabaley had, like, a classic CEO arcade room um, to the right of the main, the main, like, tournament hall. And so we just had a bunch of games. So naturally, I went to the Third Strike machine and, you know, started doing well and having a lot of fun at Third Strike. But JJ found a Puzzle Fighter machine, and when I was done playing Third Strike, I was like, where the hell's JJ? And I look over and I find, I find the Puzzle Fighter machine across the room and she's still playing it and there's a line of like four people waiting to play her at Puzzle Fighter because JJ was on a win streak. It was very fun. Chenko's the best in the game because her, her garbage is the weirdest, right? Damn. Killer. Uh-oh. 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 Dangerous time. Uh-oh. Extra dangerous. Might be the end. Uh... You're gonna survive. No, no, she... She actually broke it in quadrants, so you have a chance of living. Yeah. Uh-oh. Actually, no, you're good. You can take her out. Oh, but in time? Yeah, good shit. Good shit. Yeah, I was like... It's so weird managing this, this character's stuff. No, we found the other day, we've actually found our copy of, uh, Puzzle Fighter on Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I thought we thought we lost it for the longest time, and then we yeah, eventually found it, we're like, Oh shit, I remember buying you that. Yeah. In like, 2005? <laughs> Such painful. They, so they kept the intermissions from, uh, all the way until the next game into Pocket Fighter, they had the same shit. And the ending. Sagat mentioned in the win quote? What? Yeah, don't tell Sagat. <laughs> oh, really? I yeah. missed that. Because I'm the strongest in the world. Don't, don't tell, tell Sagat. Sagat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, blue is on that side. Ugh. Blue's on the right? Yeah, red's on and green's in the middle, is what I remember. And the pants doesn't do pants. Oh man, yeah, you're building. You're building correctly. She's gonna be cruising for a bruising in a second. Oh, yes, oh, you'll, you'll survive. Yeah, go for kill. Do it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, maybe it was bad advice on my part. It seemed like a good idea. It was red, green, blue. Yeah, Chun Li has been the bane to this legacy. Almost every single game I play Chun in, she's a nightmare. Uh oh, uh oh, I can see it already. Her eventual death. Chun Li, it's not going to be good for you. Oh, it didn't kill. Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> this, this shit sucks. Saiju. <laughs> there she goes. Friggin' Chun, man. She's got that diamond. Yeah, if she, if she had gotten the diamond, she would have won like immediately. The, uh, so the gimmick between the thing that I use sometimes when I don't know what to do is called left stacking, where you stack just everything to the left. Like, don't even move it. Just stack everything to the left. What happens as it naturally starts breaking down, it starts comboing into itself without even any coordination. Um, and the idea behind left stacking is that the everyone's pieces are the same, right? You start off with the same pieces, you use the same pieces. So if you keep left stacking, and you just go as fast as possible, you're gonna get to the diamond. Like, the, the diamond clears any single color. So if you just keep piling things upon piling things upon piling things and filling the whole board, you're just waiting to get to the diamond to eventually clear out one thing that has, like, you know, the most coverage. And believe it or not, it actually kind of works. It's, it's like a genuinely sort of, like, effective strategy. Holy shit, Felicia. That was fucking crazy. And you countered the whole thing. Holy shit. That was nuts. Okay, we gotta get rid of this yellow shit over here. God, that was fucked up. <gasps> I don't believe it. I don't believe you're still alive. You have to get that counter. You got a lot of reds to work with, though. That's the worst part. Damn, you need to you need to bust that. Oh, she did it! She, uh, she dead. Okay, why didn't she die? <laughs> oh shit! No, you're actually doing quite well. Go for the kill, go for the kill. Go for the kill. Oh, right before the diamond. That thing, that shit was crazy. Saved right in the end. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. This crazy ass game. <laughs> I lived, bitch. I'll make you cry like I did when my daddy died. He's still saying it. He's still saying that horrible quote. God. Oh, I hate you. Pain in the neck. Well, I hate his stacking. They're lines. Lines! Ready? Fight! Dan is so terrible. He really is. <laughs> what a shithead. 
Ooh, big gem. You gotta keep it connected so you have that line on the way down to it, right? God damn, Ryu. Uh, okay. Alright. Alright. This might be bad. Okay, he might have wasted it. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, JJ! Oh, fuck! Oh. Yeah. I hate his lines. It's so hard to... Yeah, you have to build up and around it. You gotta do, like, steps. It's probably even harder for Dan because... He's always gonna feed shit in that area, and you have to like start stepping up, like building up left or building up right. I think you won. <laughs> you gotta take a break. No, she just—I just need to move a little bit. <laughs> JJ's that. over here, like, oh fuck, uh, <laughs> damn, baby's baby's doing sure dragon punches. Uh, I got one more left, honey. Are you okay? Want me to take over? I actually have two more left. Really? Are you get Akuma after? Damn. Donovan's also a hard one to fight. This is not bad. Ready? Oh, I love this version of the uh, Dark Soccer's theme. Whose theme is this? Is it? I don't think this is Donovan's. It's like Morgan's theme or some shit like that. Oh god. Uh oh. God damn, he absorbed all. Jesus. All of a sudden, his garbage covered all of your yellow. That sucks. Counter too much. Dunabin. Yo, Neo Bushido, thanks for the two months, dude. Ready? Fight. Oh, that's not bad. Donovan is easily my favorite Dark Soccer's character. He's always he always has been. It was really disappointing when he didn't show up in Dark Soccer's 3 and he wasn't in Vampire Savior Vanilla. He had to wait for updated like console versions and unique arcade versions for him to eventually be added to it. Um, but he made his first appearance in Night Warriors or Dark Soccer's 2. He's just cool looking, man. He's very like JoJo inspired in many ways. Ooh, I think you won. Good shit. Yeah, now let's just quiet down. <laughs> I wish I could concentrate a little bit. Tiny Dan. So Akuma's like red pillars, right? Well, you fight Dan. It's like you fight Dan, but then Akuma kicks Dan out. Oh, I forgot. You spoiled it for me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot about this. You're like, oh my god, Dan, really? I gotta fight this guy? I wish I was fighting Dan. <laughs> he gets <laughs> demoned. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I completely forgot. It's been so long since I've seen the arcade mode of this game. Oh, yeah, she. Ooh. Ooh. Gakuma's garbage is super weird. It's super random. It doesn't yeah. even it's like it's like actually random. Yeah. I didn't get any circles, dude. No. What the hell? Huh? It's hard. Come on, red break! Nice. Oh. 
Oh! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well, I've been playing a lot of Dan games. <laughs> yeah, I'm the strongest there is, but don't tell Sagat. Just don't say anything to him. Don't send him a text. Don't DM him. Just. Hey, you let it run and it shows all the text. I want to see. Well, there you go. There was Puzzle Fighter. Probably one of the weirder Dan inclusions, just because... Oh, he's yeah, so... He's such an awkward dickhead. <laughs> Gameplay-wise in this game, even more so than the other ones. It's still fun, though. All these games have stupid charm. Thank you, honey. Thank you for kicking butt. Best player, Dad. <laughs>